So I wanted to do this for November, but I never got around to doing it. But then I was like, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to. So I'm going to start doing something where every month I come up with my, like my favorite things, things that I've either purchased or things that I've really, really begun to rely on that I already have. And so I'm going to do one for December as well, but it'll be toward the end of December. This one is going to be for November and things that I was using like crazy. Um, they're not all makeup either, by the way. Um, this right here from Bath and Body Works, it's the Wild Honeysuckle, and I am in love with this scent. Like, it's my absolute favorite. Um, I haven't really found much besides this other lotion that I use, Renew, that keeps you nice and moisturized, and they don't, you don't have to rely on it and keep going back and back for more. But this I've really found, it must be their new improved formula. It's really, really great, and I love it. So Bath and Body Works, Wild Honeysuckle, the spray, the lotion, all of them. I really, really like it. This is huge for me. This is the Sally Hansen Salon Airbrush Legs. I'm not a fan of nylons. I love them when they're quirky, um, bright colors. Um, I like classic black ones, polka dots, swirls, all that different kind of stuff. But I'm not a fan of like just plain nylons like your leg colored nylons. I think they look terrible. On me anyway and kind of on other people. Um, so I love using this when it's winter time and when it's rainy outside. I'm in Portland, so it's rainy all the time. I love using this. You can just spray this on your legs and it looks completely airbrushed. Like, I mean, any spider veins, um, any bruises, anything like that, it really, really covers them up and makes your legs look flawless. The nice thing about this is that it's not a spray tan, so you do want to get the color of your legs. That would be best. For me, I use the medium glow because I like to have them a t just a touch darker than normal. Just a touch though. But I also use um, the fair one as well. Now the nice thing about this, because it's not um, a tanner, if you mess up, it's not like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be splotchy for the rest of the day unless I exfoliate like crazy. This comes off with soap and water. So I've looked at my legs. If there's a spot missing, then I just spray a little bit on my hand and rub it in or spray it a little bit more and rub it in. And it's basically just like foundation. It's really, really easy to put on. It blends well, and I like it. So Sally Hansen, you can get this not at Sally's. Interestingly enough, Sally Hansen, Sally's completely separate things, but you can get it at Target, I'm sure. I get mine at Walgreens, so I really like that. Um, I've been relying heavily on powder flush lately, and I think that it just brightens up your under eye area without it looking like um, a raccoon with the white around. Um, I am not a fan of people that look like they have sunburns where they're trying to lighten up here so much that it looks white almost. It has a tint of pink to it, but not so much where it would give you that look. So I fill my 224 brush, which is also on the list. I have absolutely been in love with this. I had to buy two more because now it's used for my concealer. It buffs concealer in really, really well. Uh, the powder flash, I use it constantly for this because it's a nice dome. It's fluffy and it doesn't hurt at all and you can just rub underneath. And then also it's become one of my favorite blenders. So I have three total now and one for my kit. So the 224 brush, absolutely amazing. Um, all that different kind of stuff. When you get older, foundation, powder, things start to settle, or foundation and concealer start to settle into lines, especially these up here. So I pull it taut and I'll buff um, the concealer in so that it's not leaving a line, and then I'll use the powder flage all over it just to really, really set it. So those two things I'm in love with. You can get this at Sephora or Benefit.com. And then the Beauty Blender. I've been talking about this. I just used it for tutorials, so it's got some makeup on it. But the Beauty Blender is amazing. I'm loving it. But interestingly enough, I went to Target last night, and Sonia Kashuk carries one for $9.99. I haven't been able to try it yet, um, but that's way, way cheaper than this. But the Beauty Blender is amazing because it has no edges, and it's fabulous. Go to my tutorial to see why. And it has a cute little pedestal that it stays on but this is like twice the size right now of what it normally is because I got it wet and just really really saturated it and then squeezed it out as much as I could and put a towel around it and even got 
more out. It's supposed to expand though so that um, it can aerate, it can get softer, and then you can put more stuff, um, not more, but you put foundation on it. It doesn't just soak it all up because it already has a little bit of moisture in there so it doesn't soak it up as much. And then you just stipple it on everywhere. I like to use this part for the wider parts of my face and then this part for underneath my eye. I've been using, I'll dip it in my concealer and use it. Um, when it dries off, I like to use it for my powder. Is my NARS Lip Color in Blonde Venus. I'm wearing it right now and it's just the most perfect nude color without washing out your face completely. Uh, sometimes the look calls for it. It calls for deep dramatic eyes and then just powdered over lips where there's just nothing there. But for the most part it doesn't. So I really, really like this and it's just a gorgeous color and yeah so those are my november favorites and i'll be coming out with my december favorites soon so i'll see you later